All right, my friend. So the rain has stopped, but there's just an unbelievable level of traffic jam and it's 11.15 p.m. almost 40 minutes to midnight and I've been here for 30 minutes I'm now on my second attempt to try to get a grab ride I've got this paper bag uh, with books inside and I can't get them wet so I can't go stand out by where the trikes are, but I was there and there were no trikes and there was a long lineup. So I decided to, because of these books, if I, if I didn't have these books, I would have just stayed at the trikes and waited for them. I don't know why they're not, there were no trikes there. And I was there for about 10 minutes and there was none that came in. Now, the second grab that I ordered, the first one I ordered on the back entrance, and then I just figured, okay, the, he's, he's going to be coming down this street right there, and then coming back to the back entrance. And I just figured I text message him saying, "Hey, uh, I, I'm, can I just meet you up on the front?" And he was like, it, "The traffic's really bad. The traffic's really bad." So. I, you know, 10 minutes and I finally said, hey, look, I'll, I'll just cancel and retry again. He said, okay, so I canceled that grab and then I reordered another. He's been eight minutes away for the last 20 minutes. Oh, got a message. Okay, so my grab driver just messaged me. He's reason it's been E uh, arrival time eight minutes for the last 20 minutes is just on the street where he's coming down happens to be a vehicle accident so that's why so that's why um, he's not moving and it's taken forever and that's why there's huge look at the, the vehicle line Thank God my side, which is where I'm going, is is not bad. He just needs to get to this point on this street. Then it's a, it's much better. He, so he's messaged me again. I'll bye. Okay, so the driver messaged me just asking me to please wait, don't cancel. He's on his way. I told him, yeah, I'm waiting. Uh, honestly, I've been waiting for almost an hour now. The rain was part of the problem. It was really coming down pretty heavy. And the lights also, there was a, a what's called a brownout or a, a blackout power outage. The lights were all off. The lights have come back on, but uh, now I know why there's some big delays. It's because there was a vehicle accident and uh, it's creating this chaos. It's like I've never seen the traffic so bad. It barely is moving. And even for us on the coming to here from Quezon City, we were on a grab and that took a lot, lot longer. And it now, now I know why, because there's, there's some vehicle accident. I hope whoever is in that accident are okay. But, um, this is this is it. This is my final night here in the Philippines spent standing here with a bag full of books and there's no plastic to waterproof them. So I really can't be standing out from underneath the protection because, you know, the rain can come back at any second. Anyways, um, I will get home. I'm feeling if anything, I'll get home like midnight. It's 11.30 now. I'll get home at midnight and I'm just like, well, I got to get up at 9 o'clock. Here's a red vehicle. That's what he's driving. Bye. Oh, my God. I think it just got worse. I don't know if you're going to see behind me. 
at the intersection there. There's a massive, huge truck trying to get into the intersection and it's so huge, he's gonna create virtually a gridlock. He ain't gonna be able to get through. He's got a long, pulling a long trailer. Now, if he gets stuck, he's literally gonna stop the traffic completely. This is insane. All right, it looks like the traffic, the accident may have been cleared. Um, that side is moving now a little bit. Uh, so that might be a good sign. Might be. <laughs> Anyways, um, his last message to me was, uh, please wait. I told him, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. He said, thanks, Paul. So I hope he doesn't cancel on me. You can't make this stuff up, people. Red Toyota 5532. Now, my phone was fully charged when I left for, to go to Quezon City, but obviously now it's uh, low bat getting down. Uh, seriously need my phone. Uh, no updates yet from the driver. And I need to use a CR. I need to go take a massive pee. Now, traffic has been moving a little better. But his, um, the vehicle, my driver, his vehicle hasn't moved. It's inching along slowly. It says the estimated arrival is now three minutes. But it's, it's now like 11.55 p.m., so midnight. Uh, I'm tired. But I'm loving this experience, I really am. One I'll never forget. Oh my goodness. So I tried, I asked for an ETA and he didn't answer. So I tried calling him through the app and he didn't answer. Several minutes later, he calls me back. I am curious if he was probably, because the traffic's been moving pretty steady again, I'm thinking he probably wasn't even in his vehicle. He probably parked and he was off somewhere eating or something. And you know, meanwhile, I'm telling him, hey, look, my, my phone battery is almost dead. I got to get home. You know, I'm going to cancel this order and get try another grab. No, no, sir, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm moving now. Okay, he's moving now. So he's telling me he's on his way. But I mean, I've been watching this traffic and I kind of know if he really was in his vehicle in this line, he should have been here. The traffic's been almost back to what I consider normal Manila traffic, like a steady flow. Uh, so I'm a little bit uh, frustrated with him because uh, I, I almost suspect he literally wasn't even in his vehicle. And, uh, he, you know, he's like telling me, wait, wait, don't, don't cancel, wait, I'm, uh, I'm moving. Okay, I'm giving you five minutes. I got to cancel it and get another grab. Oh, here's a red vehicle. My goodness. It's now quarter after midnight. The guy's saying he's, he's really close. He's just about here. Well, it's been now almost 20 minutes. Uh... And my battery is, I'm at 20% on my phone battery. And uh, there's a lot of taxis driving by and I might just wave down a taxi. Shit, I should have did that an hour ago. I'd be home already. Uh, 
backpack. Here it is. <sighs> Just get me home, Lord. Yeah, if there's a taxi that drives by again, I'm going to flag it down. They're more expensive, but at least I'd be home right now. You know, I, I want to do the right thing. And if this grab is indeed really, truly stuck and he's asking me to wait, I'm, he, you know, no, I got to take care of myself, right? If he's stuck, he's stuck. If he's just sitting there eating food and making me wait, oh boy. All right, my good friend. So it is now 2 a.m. Uh, I finally did get the, the, the driver. He did actually show up and he literally, it almost feels like he was sitting across the street just watching me. Because the minute I told him, look, I got to cancel this order. You know, I need to get home. He literally said, no, no, don't cancel. I'm on my way, I'm moving now. And it was literally maybe five more minutes, but then I messaged him saying, I gave you five more minutes. I'm gonna cancel the this order and, and try again. He calls me with less than a minute and he says, I'm here, I'm arriving. And literally, uh, he took me to here back home and, and I got home, you know, but that was just an extensively long wait. It was like, I, I feel he literally was sitting just down the way and he delayed, delayed, delayed. That's what I feel. Anyways, I'm home. Like I say, it's 2.03 a.m. Uh, now my, my apartment is all cleaned up. Uh, I cleaned this earlier today. What I didn't do, which I felt I should have, but I just did it now, is I packed up my suitcase, packed up my bag. So literally all I'm going to do right now is go to sleep. I've got everything done. I've got uh, tomorrow. I have, uh, I'll eat uh, a, a simple morning breakfast, coffee and pandasal, have a shower. Um, everything else is all cleaned up. The ref is cleaned up. Uh, my bedroom, the bed is all ready. Uh, obviously I'm gonna sleep in it. So, you know, I'll leave that up to the owner of the condo here to, clean that once when uh, I check out but um, I was really amazed at how I was able to get everything into that suitcase I, I partially I've got uh, my backpack with all the electronics and all the batteries that can't be put into a suitcase otherwise they'll make you take them out um, I have my over the shoulder bag that was filled with stuff. And I have my waist bag filled with stuff. So I've got those, those don't qualify as carry-ons. Coming to the Philippines, I paid an extra hundred dollars because of a box uh, and a small box at that. Uh, but this time I just have my suitcase, my backpack, and these two bags. And I've got the last little bit of items, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, my lotion, uh, are the only things left out on the counter. Obviously for the morning when I get up, I want, after I eat, I wanna brush my teeth and shave my face and uh, so those are the last items and I will head out of here. So now it's two o'clock. Um, I'm super, super tired. I was frustrated, but that's naturally. But at the same time, 
I was really enjoying the experience I was having. I mean, I can't say it enough. I really was ex enjoying what was happening. And it's a memory. It's going to hold, it's going to stick in my mind for the rest of my life. You know, standing there <laughs> outside of SMB Kutan really late at night and it's raining and, uh, you know, <laughs> the traffic was so terrible. The tricycles weren't even at the tricycle stand. I don't know where they were, but it was totally, the lineup at the tricycle stand was long. Everybody was just standing there waiting and there was no tricycles. I stood there for about 20 minutes. Finally, I said, this is crazy. It's raining really hard. I was underneath the canopy. Uh, so I was okay, but I'm like, no, I, I'm going to get a grab and get home. And the grab did not turn out to be as as fast because the two grabs that I did get, that I did book the booking with, happened to be in the on that street where there was a jam. If I got a grab driver that wasn't on that street and, and they would have picked me up and I would have been home really quick, but that didn't happen. You know, it's like everything just was seemingly, it's almost like the book of Job in the Old Testament where Job was tested by Satan. And, you know, I'm like just telling myself, dear Lord, just get me home, just get me home. It's raining. I got a bag with Bibles in it and they don't have plastic. So they would get totally drenched, wet, ruined. And these are Bibles I bought for my angels. And tomorrow when I see them all, I will give them each a Bible. So anyways, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, everything's done. All I got to do is wake up, have a shower, eat some breakfast, brush my teeth, and then head out. Um, now, checkout is 11 a.m., but I'm going to probably check out around 12. I'm not going to check out at 11. If, they, if she charges me for an extra day, I'll pay it. I mean, I'm just so tired. My bed is looking really nice over there. I'm ready to go to sleep. Um, I had a really good day. Yeah, I, it, the day started, I was doing the cleaning and then Gladys messaged me saying they were ready to come over. And, and I said, yes, when you're ready, message me and I'll meet you at SMB Kutan. So this afternoon we met up at SMB Kutan, we ate. Then we went on the train and we went to Quezon City and it was really awesome. I really enjoyed today. Even this tonight, just the, the just <laughs> trying to get home. My phone was minimal battery and I'm like, guys, you gotta, you gotta get, just get, you know, the first driver was, you know, it's the traffic so bad. I said, yeah, I know, but you're almost here. No, 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 it's really bad. It's getting, and it's worse down the way. I said, well, I'm on the street. I can see it's not worse. It's actually empty. Where you're stuck, that's really bad. Where I'm at, the traffic is flowing. <coughs> Anyways, I'm so tired. I'm going to sleep, sleep, sleep. I got to set my alarm because I know I will sleep through it. I need to be up and pretty much getting ready to leave, move out, uh, lock up and shut off all the lights by 11 o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock at, at the very latest and uh, make my way to go have uh, lunch at the restaurant uh, that I had eaten at last time and then I'll just sit there for two, three hours <laughs> until Sasawan opens, the resto bar where Mary Grace works. And once they're open, I'll be there and then where my angels will all be there and we'll leave there to go to the airport 
by five o'clock and my plane leaves at uh, eight o'clock, 8, 10 p.m. So, you know, if we're at the airport by five, I'll be happy or by six, I mean, I'll be happy. Anyways, I'm super tired. 